The Littlest Airplane, written by Brooke Hartman, illustrated by John Joseph. Brooke signed this book for my daughter. Far up north, on a busy runway, the airplanes line up to go fly for the day. First comes the turboprop, sturdy and quick. With my great big propellers, I'm always first pick. When I get airborne, prepare for a show. I'll power through thunderstorms, wind, sleet, and snow. Whirling and twirling, make way, make way. There goes the turboprop plane. Next comes the cargo plane, brawny and long. I can haul any load. I am stronger than strong. My wings are the whitest of any around. I'm so massive at takeoff, I rattle the ground. Rumbling and grumbling, make way, make way. There goes the big cargo plane. Here comes the jet plane, her engine's a blast. I can go anywhere in the world super fast. Like a rocket in space, I will zoom through the sky. You might think you're fast, but I'll pass you right by. Roaring and soaring, make way, make way. There goes the speedy jet plane. The littlest plane waited off to the side. He had no big engines, his wings weren't that wide. With just one propeller, so stubby and small, the bush plane was truly the smallest of all. That little bush plane watched the others fly around, saw them soaring so fast, heard their rumble, roar sound. And he worried aloud, staring up at the blue. I am not strong. I'm not speedy. What can I do? Not flying, just sighing. I'll stay. I'll stay. No place for a little bush plane. All of a sudden, the blue sky turned black. Storm clouds went boom, and lightning went crack. Over radio waves came a cry of distress. We're stranded. Please come get us out of this mess. The turboprop plane was the first one to go. I'm sure I can save them, she said. I just know. But her props were too long and the trees were too high. She had to turn back. Someone else has to try. Not touting, just pouting. No way, no way. I can't, said the turboprop plane. The big cargo plane was the next to take off. A storm never stopped me, he said with a scoff. His wings were so wide that he just couldn't land, and soon he returned, looking not quite so grand. Not hulking, just sulking. No way, no way, I can't, said the big cargo plane. The jet plane rolled up with their engines a roar. This job is a breeze. I don't care if it pours. But her speed was so fast, she'd fly right off the side. So she limped back too, with a little less pride. Not zooming, just fuming. No way, no way, I can't, said the speedy jet plane. The turboprop cargo plane, even the jet, had all come back, woe be gone, worn out and wet. Airplanes, please help, came the radio's cry. Then the little plane asked, should I give it a try? The other planes stared at him, shaking their heads. You're too small, you're too slow. You should stay here instead. But those people are stranded, the bush plane declared. Yes, I'm small. Yes, I'm slow. But I'm surely not scared. Buzz went his engine and whirr went his prop. He sped down the runway and flew to the top. His wings and his rudder fought hard through the wind. But he couldn't give up. He couldn't give in. The storm clouds were bl blinding. The fierce blizzard blew. But that little bush plane kept on flying right through. At long last, he saw it through the trees far below, a mountain, a small mountain clearing all covered in snow. His strut-mounted wings gave him excellent sight, his speed not too fast, his propeller just right. Extending his flaps, he aimed straight for the land. Can the little bush plane get them out? Yes, I can. Whoop, swooping and whooping, hooray, hooray, three cheers for the little bush plane. 